Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again with um, the second installment on how to typeset in Scribus. Now we left off here with our blank page and the next step we have to go through is to set up what Scribus calls master pages which is sort of a an individual page template. And I'll show you how this works. Um, so first thing we're going to do is go to edit master pages and this comes up as uh, master edit master pages uh, box and normal left and normal right these are default and these we are going to need because this is a normal left page we know that because of the, the margin is wider over here than it is over here so this is where the book meets the binding this is a normal right page it's the opposite and they're blank and we're going to want pages that um, although have text have no formatting no header no footer no page numbers and all of that so to create a new one it's quite easy you go to this icon and it says as you see add a new page, a master page click comes up give it a title so uh, this is going to be a left hand page uh, you see here it says left page. You have the option of choosing left or right. You must choose one or the other because it's a double-sided book. New master page, page two. Well, that's not, not what I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it first uh, left page. And it's a left page. Okay. And there it is. This is our page. Now the purpose of this is I, I'm going to establish uh, two master pages with headers and the headers are different. Um, this is where you, uh, I ran into all kinds of problems in word processors trying to figure out how to do different word, different headers and footers. There's a way to do it and all that, but, and I succeeded, but this is very simple and intuitive actually. So the first thing we're going to do and Scribus has you add text boxes, and that's what this little icon here. Select, and when you, and when it's selected, then you get this thing. It tells you, it tells you where you are, so you can line things up. You you start where you want to start. Left click and drag, and put this however you want it. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. There you go. So it's it's like all of such boxes or image boxes that you find around. I'm going to put some text in here. I can do it by double clicking and typing it in right here. Or I c I'm going to need to go to edit text anyway because you can't edit text from here. So you go to edit, edit text, and up comes the edit text dialog box and that's the thing I can type the text in here but I can't change the font I can't center it I can't change the justification and so forth without using this editor story editor box they call it so um, I want my name there so M I C E and I'm going to change the font. This is going to be this would be by default Arial font. I want it to be uh, uh, Trajan Pro is what I use for this, which is somewhere here it is, and I want it centered. So there's the justification boxes. Boom. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, check the green arrow, and here's my name at the top. That's exactly what I want it to look like. And we'll continue this in the next in 